OK, so let's look at the Disk Encryption Lab. So the first part of the lab is that we'll create uh, our encrypted file container in TrueCrypt in Windows 7, and then we'll put something in it, and then we'll go over to Linux Kali and see if we can actually read our encrypted file from them. OK, so I'm going to use uh, our vCenter infrastructure. OK, so just go ahead, find your folder, and then open up uh, the the instance. So we're going to create a volume and it's all just standard just now. And we'll create it as TC belt. Okay, so you can go ahead and you can do some quick benchmarking of the encryption algorithms, uh, but you'll find that the ES easily wins against uh, the other two, Serpent and Two Fish. Uh, but uh, just to check, you can do a quick benchmarking. The fastest should be Serp, should be AES, Rendal, and then the slowest is all three together. There we go. Fastest AES, next is two fish, and then Serpent comes in there, and then that's the worst then. So we'll go ahead with AES, and we'll go ahead with this one for our hash signature. We'll create five meg. We'll give a password. And that's fine. We'll move the mouse around a while and then we'll let it create it. And then that's fine. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just bring our in our file so it creates it as a as a single file. TC built. There we go. And then we'll just mount that onto the X drive with our password. And everything's fine there. Okay, so properties. That's all the properties, 256 bit key. There's our X drive, but what we'll do is we'll just bring up the file viewer and then we'll go to X. Let's create a folder and let's create a file in there. And we'll just put something in there and that's fine. Okay, so that's great, and then what we'll do is we'll just dis dismount that drive. And what I've done, done is I've in inserted a USB stick onto my host machine. So what I'm going to do is disconnect it from the main drive, the main host, and then connect it to my virtual machine. Just take a little minute while it disconnects and then it will reconnect, disconnect from the host and then we'll connect to them. Okay, so let's go ahead and format that. Let's try again. There we go. That's just connected. Uh, so just get rid of that. 
Okay, so you should see your, your drive mount correctly then. So then what we'll do is we'll just copy over the file that we've uh, just created for TrueCrypt. Uh, it's only 5 meg, so it's not, it's not too, it shouldn't take too long to connect it from your host machine to them. And then what we'll do is we'll inject that. Okay, so that's that one disconnected from it. Next, what we need to do is bring up our Kali machine and we'll mount the drive onto Kali. Okay, it's still connected here. Okay, that's disconnected. Now we're going to connect it here. sometimes you've actually got to disconnect it. Uh, just take the USB stick out and connect it back in again. So it can be a bit sticky between the different operator systems. So once you've disconnected it from Windows, just pull it out and put it back in and then connect it into to Kali. Okay, so there's there's our uh, there's a file there. So we'll just stick it in the home folder. And then what we'll do is we'll bring up Max, we'll bring up TrueCrypt. Okay, we're going to select file. So we've mounted the drive. There we go. Perfect. And we should be able to just open that. There's the file that we created. And everything's fine. Okay, so you can see that you can you can actually you should be able to create some things here. Uh, so I'll just create a new new document folder there and then what we can do is that we can just dismount that one and we'll just eject the disk And we can come back over here. Okay, it's still connected here.
get it to back in. Okay, so it's up to yourself how you want to transfer the files uh, over from one machine uh, to, to the next. Uh, but that's certainly one way where we can use the USB stick. Okay, so I just tried disconnecting again and then reconnecting the USB drive. And hopefully it'll come back in. So we'll just get set up for the next part of it. There's the there's the file that we just created in in Kali. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll we'll download uh, the files that uh, are are specified here. Okay, so our security site. And the first one is named TC test one. Windows it. So I'm just going to extract that to the C drive. Okay, and then we'll just bring up TrueCrypt again. I'm going to select my file, C. This one here. And then we'll just mount that onto there. Okay, so it's not Napier. We'll try anchor one two three. It's not that one. And we'll try Foxtrot. And that's what it is. Okay, so the first one is Foxtrot. Then you should be able to look at the, the basic properties for the file and uh, just do that for the for the, the rest of them. And then we'll do part two of the lab uh, next.